we had a misunderstanding. He thought 1045, I had 1015. Yep. Introduce yourself. Good morning. You may uh, proceed. My name's Jim Dunmore. I'm the director of Lebanon County Drug and Alcohol. I'm Michelle Allen Sweitzer. I'm the Lebanon County Prevention Coordinator with Compass Mark. I'm here for two reasons. Uh, an add on. Uh, the first thing I'd like to go over with you folks is the contract amendments. I presented a copy of the sheet that has three contract amendments on it. Uh, I will go over each uh, contract change. Uh, the first one is the provider's fire tree. The facility is Conewago, Indiana, and it's for adult rehab. You'll notice uh, the original rate is NA because we did not have a contract with them prior to me being here today. So this will be a new contract, and the rate will be 175 a day with no contract cap for this facility. Uh, the second one is Pyramid Health Provider. Uh, the facility is Quakertown, and the service is rehab short-term for adolescents. Uh, just a side note, there is three facilities in the state that deal with adolescents <coughs> for treatment. So it's very important that we have a contract with an adolescent provider. Uh, their initial rate last year was 222 a day, and the new rate is 250 a day. So it has increased. And then the final contract amendment I'd like to present to you is for the RAISE project, and that's for our Suboxone buprenorphine program. We have a cap on that uh, project. At our previous cap was $21,082, and I'm here today to ask that that cap be doubled to $40,000. Uh, the reason being is the $21,000 serves four uh, clients in Lebanon County. Uh, if we double that, we'll be able to serve eight clients. And there is a need, a waiting list for clients to receive that service. Where that money's coming from, I was here last week, as we all know. I uh, talked about an STR grant that we are getting as a county and the $20,000 will be coming out of that grant. So it's the statewide extra money? Statewide $143,000. So 20 of that I would like to apply to this service because it is an MAT and it is allowable by DDAP. How many are on the waiting list? Currently three. Three. Second motion. So moved. Second. We move to the second. Any other questions or comment? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. She carries. Okay. Thank you. The second thing I'm here for <clears throat> is Red Ribbon Week 2017. The goal of Red, Red Ribbon Week is to increase the awareness of problems caused by alcohol and drug abuse. The Red Ribbon Week has come to symbolize a person's individual commitment to leave, living a drug and alcohol free lifestyle. This year's theme, and we have, we have bracelets here to hand out for those of you who want them. This year's theme, this year's campaign theme is your future is key to stay drug free. With this theme, our office along with Compass Smart, our prevention provider, we're promoting an overall healthy lifestyle where children and parents remain active and drug free. This year our office has purchased 11,000 of these bracelets. The idea, of, and that's what we purchased last year, and what happens is Compass Mart, our prevention provider, goes into all the school districts countywide and presents these to the children. Uh, we believe it's not only educational, but we also believe the earlier we plant seeds in the young folks' minds, the better off they'll be as they go through adolescence and become adults. What I'd ask the commissioners to do is I'm requesting that you declare the week of October 23rd through October 31st as Red Ribbon Week in Lebanon County. We may have a proclamation to that uh, extent. Okay. Uh, as always, I want to thank the commissioners for their support, not only in my office, but also the support of this specific Red Ribbon Week project. Okay, um, we, the, my coworker Josh Mounts has contacted the schools and he has distributed a lot of these red ribbons already. Um, we have quite a few and we also have 
programs set up. Um, I will be at Henry Houck Elementary School on Friday and Monday of next, or yeah, Monday and Friday of next week, to do presentations for each and every classroom in the school from K-4 through fifth grade, for about a half an hour to each class. Um, and we're also doing a presentation at Palmyra Middle School. Those are the two schools that we currently have things set up in to do the presentations. Okay. Um, just to, just to note that we do offer that to all school districts, mm -hmm. all classrooms, that we would present this kind of information. Yes. And that's mainly done by her company. Jim, would you like to... Uh Sure, whereas, <clears throat> whereas the Lebanon County Commissioners are committed to promoting a drug-free lifestyle in Lebanon County, and whereas the Lebanon County Commission on Drug and Alcohol Abuse is distributing red ribbons to schools, churches, and businesses in Lebanon County as a symbol of each person's personal commitment to a drug-free lifestyle. Now, therefore, we, the Commissioners of Lebanon County, do hereby proclaim the week of October 23rd through the 31st, 2017, as Red Ribbon Week in Lebanon County and further encourage all our citizens to unite in helping Lebanon County become a drug-free community. Second motion. I make a motion that we adopt the proclamation for the Red Ribbon Week. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any comment or question? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Plus, same sign. So ordered. Thank you. Thank you.